Good afternoon, YouTube. It's the man always George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Bottom Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, I want to recognize a special lady, a lady who um, really represented the sport of bodybuilding. She is a legend, and she's the very first Miss Olympia, and also she's a two time Miss Olympia, and that was one Miss Richard McLesh. Now, Rachel was uh, born Raquel Livia Elizondo in Texas in 1955, and she is the uh, uh, the, um, the the youngest daughter, the second youngest daughter of Raphael and um, Raquel, you know, and she was named after her mother. And you know, she was a very popular young girl. She back when she was in high in, in college in high school. I mean, she was into fitness. She was a cheerleader, and she was very popular because she was young and attractive. Well, around right about after she got out of high school, she went to college, and when she graduated college, she had a degree in physical. Uh, psych uh, sorry, psychology and health and nutrition. By that then, you know, the sport of female's bodybuilding was just still growing and developing. You know, back in the days, the women used to wear high heels, and then by the uh, late 70s, they kicked up the high heels, and then the, you know, the women transitioned. Now, by 1980, you know, she, she made a debut at the USA uh, Bodybuilding Championships, and then she, you know, debuted at the first Miss Olympia in the same year. And she won that show, you know, and she became the first Miss Olympia. And she was with so many legends, like, yeah, Carla Dunlop at that show. And I think Playboy, they sponsored it. Wow, Playboy was really into the muscle thing back then. And, you know, she just became a legend, you know. After that, she came back again and to defend her title in 81, but she lost it to a Finnish, a, a Finnish uh, female body, actually, a, a, a female body from Finland. I keep forgetting, I don't know how to say her name right. I can never say her name, so I'm not going to say her name. And then she enjoyed that success. Uh, being the first Miss Olympia and her looks and the very exotic looks about her. And she came back in eighty in eighty two to regain her title. You know, so she became a two time Miss Olympia. But then also she kept parlaying her success with fitness and doing magazine covers and everything else like that. And eighty three she comp competed in a show which was the backdrop for one of the most popular most popular female bodybuilding um documentaries which is Pumpy Iron Two, which is a sequel to on um, Pumpkin Mind, Pumpkin Mind 2, The Women. And at that show was the debut of another legendary bodybuilder, Bev Francis. And um, it was just a debate about comparison to how the look of women bodybuilding was going. You know, you know, uh, you know, Richard with the classic look and, and Bev was the look that was coming up at the time. And at that show also was Carla Dunlap in 83. She won, and remember Carla Dunlap became the first black Miss Olympia. And she won the title because that year, you know, Corey wasn't, I mean, sorry, um, and you know, Richard was, wasn't completing. So Richard decided to make a return to Miss Olympia in 84. In 84, she became second runner up to then Corey Everson, you know, and the thing was the sport was changing. It was evolving. You know, Corey was the next generation for bodybuilding. And, you know, you know, Richard decided that, you know, it was best for us to take a side and maybe go a new direction. So she started getting into fitness. Um, and, you know, back that time, the fitness thing was crazy, getting popular. Like, you know, Joan, um, I say, uh, uh, what's it? What's her name? Um, you, um, I know her name, but I forget. You know, the uh, actress who did a lot of the fitness things, and that was a really popular thing. You know, um, you know, and um, she did some videos here and there, and some specials, and she even worked with guys like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, you know, for you know, for, you know, doing a lot of workout um, you know, tapes and stuff like that. You know, Arnold was as you know, Arnold was coming up in that time. And, you know, she started probably with her looks and her, and her, and her, uh, you know, her beauty into more into modeling, you know, even, even audition for acting. As you know, around about that year, there was a movie that came out in 86, which was the sequel to the movie Aliens with, uh, Alien with Scorny Weaver, Aliens. And she was, she auditioned for the role of a character of Private Vasquez. But that role went to another actress by the name of Jeanette um, Goldstein, Goldstein, um, Gold, Goldstein. But some say that, you know, they won, um, you know, Rachel, but the fact was, I think was where Hollywood was too put off by a muscle for a bit. But then she kept acting and doing movies and commercials and TV shows. She even did one of the most popular movies, not as, not as popular as the Richard sequel, which was Iron Eagle 3, Aces, where she played a young woman who escaped from her village was being uh, attacked by a drug cartel. It's a scene where she's fighting with Lou Gossett Jr., and it was a all right movie. It was, I think it wasn't one of the best movies in the I Equal series. I mean, you know, it was a little better than number four, I would say. But, you know, it might be part of the movie when she's uh, she's tied up to the uh, post and she's pulling herself and, you know, and her muscles are popping. And it's just like, you know, for a small, for muscle post, uh, uh, for a lot of muscles post, puff smurfs, that was kind of exciting to see in the movie. 
But like I said, even though she, you know, still was acting, modeling, you know, still doing the workout thing, you know, she was still, you know, very popular at that time. And even she did another movie, which was her first starring movie, really where she started. She was, you know, this was her first real starring movie, which was the movie Ravenhawk. It was a little known movie where she played a woman who was a Native American who was raped and she was seeking revenge for the man who raped her. But like I said, I've seen the movie uh, maybe once and then it was all right. It was so so. And, you know, you know, but you know, it's just one of those movies that just didn't click. But yeah, you know, she was still into the acting thing, the modeling thing, and even though, you know, and still in fitness. But, you know, she still had good connections with people like uh Bed and Wheeler and his wife Betty. And still, you know, she was seen as a legend. You know, she even though she wasn't competing anymore, she was still modeling, you know, often, you know, working with other people inside the industry and even still getting on covers of some magazines because she was a legend. You know, he, she's the first Miss Olympia. And later in around 1990, she married um, Ron Sam, Samuels. And, you know, Ron Samuels was married to um, Linda, Linda Carter, you know, Wonder Woman. And, you know, they're, they're still together, 32 years, still together. And I think, you know, Rachel is just an amazing woman. She is the woman who really was the pioneer for a sport of bodybuilding. She is the woman that a lot of women like Linda Murray, Corey Everson, um, you know, uh, you know, Andrea Shaw, I love the list of women who look up to this woman because she was the first Miss Olympia. But I remember I saw an interview that um, Linda Murray gave. She said that Linda don't, you know, Corey don't, I mean, sorry, that Rachel don't really get too much in the bodybuilding world anymore. I mean, she's kind of stayed away from, you know, back in um, 2020, there was a return of Miss Olympia, and there was a group of ladies who represented all the Miss Olympias through the time. And truth, I think, I think Corey wasn't there, and neither was Rachel. But you know, I can understand that maybe you want to get away from that. But you always let me know is the first Miss Olympia. It's hard to get away from that. You have a legacy, and so many women who follow the sport of bodybuilding is because of you, because you brought a, a, a combination of beauty and style and grace, and just just something that really was you know. Uh, new to the sport of bodybuilding, you know, and even though bodybuilding around for a good while, but you're always going to remember as the woman who really paved the way for all the ladies before you, for the Iris Kyles, for the Corey Evesons, for the Linda Murrays, you know, for the Andrea Shaws, you know, all the other ladies, you know, who are in the sport of bodybuilding. But anyway, uh, she's, I can't believe she's 67 years old, 67. And, you know, she looks today barely, maybe not even 40, maybe. I mean, maybe close to 50. You wouldn't think she's almost 70. But, you know, the fitness lifestyle, some of these ladies, you know, they don't look as old as they should. Or, they, you know, you think you should. But like I said, I want to wish Mrs. Rachel McLash a very happy birthday and many, many more. Anyway, this is me all the way, George Page, a.k.a. The Emperor from my Bible Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out. Happy birthday, Mr. McLash.